Hello and welcome to the Great Whale Road. I have a bit of good news and a bit of bad news. The good news is that the Great Whale Road will be available on Steam today. Assuming I get this all rendered and released properly. It should be on Steam today. Today, maybe not exactly when I release this video, but it will be available on Steam today. The bad news is there was a bug in my save game. Uh, one of the developers actually, I believe, sent me a, an email I should read you the email they sent me. He said, hi, Delgar, we noticed that you traveled the map where no player had been before. So I am I'm a true explorer. Uh, we have to apologize for the bug and that certainly tempting locations like London or Colchester aren't fully in the game yet. They will be added in one of the major updates planned for early access. I think I s you saved on a campfire on last week's build. We have patched a bug related to location problems related to campfires yesterday morning. My old save games will not work as we had to change the data to structure to fix that. Apologies for any inconvenience, and we hope you enjoyed your off-map adventure at least a little bit. This is the from the co-founder and CEO, Jochim Samer, at uh, Sunburn Games. So, my save game isn't going to work. I, I, I'm going to be able to start on year two, it looks like, but, uh, you know, basically, I, I, I encountered a little bit of bug. It's early access is what's going to happen. There's going to be bugs, it's going to happen, and it's okay. And I did enjoy my adventure. Although it did seem to go on a long time. <laughs> so now we get to start year two all over again. And hopefully we'll get on track now. It'll be good. It'll be good. But yes, this game is available on Steam today. If you enjoy it, go check it out. Go pick it up. I actually don't know what the price point on it is uh, currently. But uh, I love the, the soundtrack. And I love I love the, the, art, the artwork. I, I'm in love with it. There's a couple things that I would change like that. Uh, where you have to constantly hit continue and you have to sleep on the ship. If you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice. Just make me sleep on the ship. It's fine. Or give me an option to sleep on the ship or not sleep on the ship and suffer some sort of penalty or something like that. That 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 seems reasonable to me. All right. So let's uh, get some stuff going here. We're going to really do some crafts. Eh, let's do a little bit of farming. Winter has arrived. It's not just coming, it has arrived. The weather at land might still be pleasant enough, but the whale road turns into an angry and fickle beast once she the leaves change color. Alright. The roof of one of the storage huts has been carried away by the gales of wind overnight. A month's worth of oats have been soaked by the rain. You have to salvage as much as you can or folks will starve. We need to dry the oats quickly or mold, just fix the roof. Move the oats out of the hall and dry it in patches close to the fires. Leave the oats in the hut. Shift it once a day. Move the oats into a dry hut and make sure. Let's do this. Some of the folks complain about the amount of work, but nearly all the oats can be saved. Well, that's good. The farmer, Einstein Minfritter, has arrived in the village from an outlying farm. He has a tooth abscess that hasn't eaten in days. There's a lot of discussion in the hall how to help him until everyone agrees that offending tooth must be pulled out. Some probing just makes the man cry out in pain. I have to put him to sleep somehow. I will knock him out. Are you a man or a little girl? Pull yourself, pull yourself together, Minfritter. A sleeping draught should do the trick. He put a sword into his hand just in case and smash a cushion against his head. You brew a draught with mead and hemlock and night skin. He drinks till he falls asleep. A few men hold him down. He start, ah, let's do this. For a moment, you think he stopped breathing, but then you can see his chest moving and the tooth pulled out without any problems. A hay barn at one of the outlying farms burned down last night. Everyone knows that this can happen from time to time. Some say it is caused by cedar. Others blame elves or evil spirits. You are worried as you don't have much hay stored for the coming winter. Maybe the hay is too dry. Make sure the hay is well aired. We use some gifts for the unseen folk outside and get protection. You ask some priests, uh, put some water on the hay. Uh, Sign someone to turn the hay regularly. Okay, so spring has finally arrived. The skulls sing songs about your deeds and everyone in the longhouse drinks to our health. Of course they do. Rain porridge, tooth extraction, and the burning barn. All right, we got lots of food, a little bit of silver. I wonder how many, we got a bunch, we got some pelts, I think, as goods. Ah, let's go to the war band here. 
Nothing, uh, nothing there. We don't really have much that we can... Let's go here. Yeah, I think we just got some pelts. All right. Uh, let us look at our journal. We have going south, sail to Hama. This is what we were trying to do last time, and uh, it didn't work out. So let's actually do it this time. Let us add warriors. Uh, that's good, right? And this time we'll load goods. Uh, we want some food. I don't, I don't know how far we're going. We'll take 15 food just to be sure. Uh, let's take let's take the max. Oops, I didn't even move any food. Okay. And we'll take 15 food. Take some uh, shipbuilding supplies, and we'll take some. Well, let's take some of that, and can we take it all? We still got some capacity. Let's take some. Oh, let's take some salt. I don't know, that's like everything we have, but sure. We'll take it all, and we will sail to Hama. Hopefully, this time, we will sail there. You're finally ready. Keita will travel south with you. He says you are no longer useless pups, and at least be able to scare a kid. But he's not certain how will you fare against Saxon wolf warriors yet. All you want to find out what happened to your warriors for sand and nobody argues. And you decide to first visit your dead girl brothers in his burr. Let's check out the map. Do we know where we're going? Hama. Okay, yeah, we, we didn't go to Hama. We went... <laughs> we, we, we went... We went to Britain. You've certainly improved as a crew. Most of you can hold a rowing rhythm now, despite the pain in your arms and backs. Ktel has been working hard and practicing the shield ball every night. Everyone is relieved once Arxum comes in sight. Okay, we are in Arxum. After meeting the local chieftain, a young man approaches you. He has inherited a small farm, which comes with Danish thrall. He's selling the farm as it only provides meager returns. He was planning to hand over the thrall to the local wooden priest. When you arrive, you offer to sell the Dane to you. Uh, yeah, we'll pay five silver. That's fine. Okay, so now... I wish I could use some ranged weapons, but I cannot. It's a little bit better than what I have. And again, this is about the same. It's basically what I have. This is slightly better, the Ceremonial Bronze Axe. Is it worth spending 40 on? I don't know. You know what? Let's do it. We'll buy it. Uh, that means... How do we equip it? Change. We'll take the Ceremonial Axe. We'll equip it. I haven't seen... Uh, other armor options. I don't know if that's in the game yet, or we just we just haven't come across it yet. I haven't seen the option to uh, to get other armor. All right, so uh, we're gonna you're gonna go to the tavern, and then the three of you. Well, let's well, the three of you are gonna end up going hunting, but let's go to the trader here first. So we should be able to sell some stuff. We can sell hides for 25. Uh, let's sell all our hides, make some cash. Cash money. These don't sell for much. That doesn't sell for much. And that, uh, okay, we'll make that trade. Go ahead and we will sell that. Confirm. Hold on to the salt, I guess. And uh, let's do some hunting. You know, we get the option of something happening here. Let's we'll see what happens. And we'll stay overnight. Dane covered in scars ways a greeting. He asks you how you fared since the battle on the river a few winters ago. You don't remember many details. He tells you that you saved his life. He's grateful and brings you some Frankish wine from the ship. Thank you. 
We got some pelts and some food. It's fine. Uh, let us set sail for Hama. Made a little bit of money. Quite a bit of money, actually. Um, and we got some wine now. I don't know if we can see it. The war band looks lethargic and many look worried. Coughs are echoing over the water. Everyone knows that elves, the invisible folk, can cause illness with their arrows. That's right, everyone knows. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Okay. Can I... Is the day continuing? I can't tell. I can't do anything. I can't click anything. No! I'm. Oh, okay, there we go. Whew. Uh, Umaran? No, we're not. We're not going to make any unscheduled stops. We're we're going to keep going. It's famous for its dried fish, though. I understood. We're in good spirits, so we're just going to keep going. See if we can get to Hama. It's our goal. That's fine. I hope they get rid of this screen. And I hope I can get rid of this at some point. We sail past a bay and nearly miss a trading ship which is anchored to one side. It lies heavy in the water. I am not in the mood for a fight. Maybe we can barter for some Frankish wine. Just imagine what treasures they must carry. Can or an opportunity. Uh... Let's see if they want to trade. Inviting you to a fire on the beach and you exchange the latest news. The leader tells you about a war between the Frisians and the Franks to the south. Alright, we might actually make it to Hama this time. So last time what happened is we were like way over here in Britain. So we traveled farther than anyone in this game has traveled before. So, yeah, that happened. You saw it here. It's fine. It doesn't seem to be affecting me sleeping on the ship, so... I imagine it should. Maybe it is affecting some of us. I can't tell for sure. It doesn't seem to be affecting my fearless leader. You spot a shipwreck on the coast. The wood of the ship doesn't look rotten. It must be reaped. Uh, let's see. Keep going. Looks like there's rocks. Roll closer and search for fibers. Anchor close by. See if there's anything valuable left. A barrel with mead and some salted fish. Excellent. More food. We don't really need the food. We've got lots of food. Campfire. We will pass on. Closer. Continue. Oh, there is a campfire here, but we don't want. It. We don't want to stop. Yeah, I don't see anybody's abilities changing. So sleeping on the ship has no negative effect. Um, I imagine moving forward it will at some point otherwise there's no point having you know this whole campfire thing unless you want to like stop and do some hunting or something continue come on let's get to Hama I just want to get to Hama I want to kick some sacks and ass. Most of you need some oysters bought from a fisherman, but it seems they were all. Oh, I told you these oysters smell dodgy.
Sacrifice some mead. Let them drink plenty of light ale until everyone is fully recovered. Day 30. We're getting there. Can I see my stores? Should be able to... Sailing... Out at sea, your heroes will gradually consume food and lose adventure stats. To recover these stats, you need to spend the night in a camp or settlement. If you spend the night on a boat, it will not be able to recover. So you can't recover if you spend the night in the boat? I guess we haven't had to do anything, so we haven't really needed to recover yet. Okay, come on. Let's get to Hama. Hama, Hama, Hama. Hama, Hama, Hama. On our way to Hama. Keep sailing. It take us like two years to get there. Your watch is interrupted by shouts, brawls, and whoops. Two of the crew started a fight. Bet on Bjorn, rib breaker. Rodar might be small, but he is fast. He slips between Bjorn's arms and smashes his fist into his bullocks. Ah, I lost five silver. Bjorn! Keep sailing. That's fine. I, I said keep sailing, so I, I know. I know I wasn't camping. Boop, 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 boop. I guess we're getting close. As you pass an island, a ship rushes at you from behind it! Before you can decide what to do, the first arrows hit your deck. Okay, well, I guess we'll kill them all! They picked the wrong prey! They know what they're doing. Pirates come alongside quickly and wait for it to come across. Alright, let us do battle with these pirates! Pirate scum! Okay, uh, let me uh, read this again. Some can only be played when their turn restriction value is lower or equal to the current turn number. Now that doesn't make sense to me, right? Because if it's turn five, then it shouldn't be higher. Am I reading that right? Because it won't be able to be played until after turn five. Right? I think. Well, that sucks my, uh, something or other. Uh, shuffle. We need some, we need some, uh, we need some heroes. Let's go. Give me some heroes. Come on. There we go. K-Tail. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, boss. Oh, they're coming for us. Over there. And uh, we're going to shuffle and shuffle. And we want to, of course, remember to uh, bolster our defenses here. Let's not forget that. Oh, two heroes. Yeah. There we go. Come get some. Pretty sure. Oh, can he attack? Oh, what's this? What's this? Cautious move. Danish war cry. Okay, so that's the other the other thing that I'm unsure of here. I think he can play it. But can he? No. So, 
I don't know why. Oh, it's turn five. Never mind. That's why I can't. It's turn, it's turn five one. That is why. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay, we want to play him. Oh, we're running out of time. Uh, let's move him there. Defense. He can attack him. I think. No, he can't. Okay. Oh, he can't. Okay. Defense. Defense. Did I already hit his defense button? Okay, anyway. Okay, then I will shuffle the card. Alright, I have no cards I'll be able to use. That sucks. Okay. There's a torn meniscus. Broken leg. Oh, that's what his axe will cause. Uh, I can't use any of my cards. Uh, let's, let's attack him. Oh, look at those hits. Beastly. Not fantastic. Can he attack him? No. Okay. Just defend. Defend. Protect me! I am a weakling. I'll be able to use one of these cards next turn, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, shuffle these ones. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Uh, let's... Please go away. I don't want an update Photoshop. Let's show stats. Okay, so now I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Heavy defense. Heavy defense. Uh, Can I not use hit on him? Use it on him. Uh, let's go for the defense. Let's go over there. Can I use it on her? Okay, sure. Oh wow, she's terrible. Oh, it's hits though. Alright. Can I use this on him? No. Can I use it on her? Okay. That's right. Come on in. Come on in. I'll take you out. Nice. Give him the heavy D. Give him the heavy D. Right? Give him an attack bonus? No, can I give her? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Okay, no, can't do that. Alright, uh She's she hits a lot for having terrible attacks. Why can't he attack? There we go. Oh, a bunch of hits. I wish my boy Floki could attack. Said he's going to continue to defend himself and uh, end the turn. Oh, plus four attack. That could be good. Oh, we got some more Saxons coming in.
if we can kill him... Come on, get a kill here. That's what we're looking for. Can you move there? Okay. What do we got here? Can I give you this? No. Can't, okay. Oh, it did work, okay. Okay, we took a little bit off the top. Uh, let's move there. Can I spend this on you? No. I can't really spend this on anybody. It's kind of annoying. Okay. We'll shuffle it. We'll, we'll shuffle it. Okay, they can kill Floki now. Um, but only the Chieftain can attack, and I can at least attack the Chieftain with two people. If I can keep her attacker defenses up. He didn't attack, okay. Uh, I think Floki's got a good attack. Let's give him a Brutal Strike. Can I also give him some defense? And... Can I give him... If I can give him that too, that'd be great. Can I give him that? Okay, no I can't. Alright, so... Uh, the slash away. Nope. Oops. Oh, wow. Look at those hits. That was nice. I like it. Oh, so close. Uh, we'll shuffle that. Oh, we are so close right now. Wait. I moved Floki? I'm an idiot. Uh, I did not mean for Floki to be there. Let's move. Can I? There we go. Okay, nobody can use that one. Nobody can use that one. I can use that one. Okay. Go, Floki! Kick his butt! That should be the end of him. Yes! We won. We didn't get anything. That's what kills me. We should get something for winning. I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about not getting anything. Do do do. She's not doing great. I don't know what this is. Can't see. <laughs> that is correct. We were not able to find. Oh no. Vindiglite guarding the Lemphanar. Uh, we're going to keep sailing. So we want Hama. I'm going to Hama. Marzna, the front line. Keep sailing. Lots of places we could stop, but we're not doing it. We're so close, I can taste it. Oh, she, she could use some rest, probably. Um, please don't be bugged. Please. Uh. Please. Uh. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! A chieftain's hall and market on the river Elv. Distance, recommended large longship. Can I go to Hama? Journal. No! Um, I'm gonna try reloading the game. Uh, we'll see where we're at. Uh, give me a second. Okay, the sad news is it uh, it put me back at Arxum. Um, I'm gonna have to set sail again. It's kind of annoying a little bit. Um, but what are you gonna do? It's early access. Uh, what I'll do is uh, off camera, I'll try and sail and see if I can get to Hama. And if I can, then we'll continue on. If I can't, I'm gonna have to wait for them to patch it, I guess. Uh, Cause I don't know what's going on, why it doesn't, why it doesn't want, why let me go to Hama. My journey to Hama is endless. But I hope you've been enjoying this look at the Great Whale Road. Keep in mind the game is in early access and these bugs will be ironed out and will be fixed. So, until next time, Dark Road.